Hello, today we are going to talk about the importance of identifying who is the champion. This is one of the most important processes in order to be able to communicate the idea of having a national MPI to different stakeholders. The champion is one of the most important persons in the process. It's the person who has the, the, the activity or the main task of communicating what is the MPI and why it's important to have a national MPI to different stakeholders. Remember that when, talk, when we talk about the stakeholders, we are not only talking about policymakers, we are also talking about people living in the communities, the different NGOs, different international and national institutions, the private sector, academics, and other government and other parts of the government. It is really important that the champion takes the leadership of the process of identifying who are the key stakeholders and to talk to them in order that they can understand why the MPI is important and why now measuring multidimensional poverty becomes a priority for all parts of the government. Also, if this is the person who is going to understand why the MPI, why a measure of multidimensional poverty, why we need multidimensional poverty now, why the multidimensional poverty index can communicate or can talk to the Agenda 2030, why is this important? And this is the main task of a champion. A champion is the person who leads the process, who engages with other stakeholders, and who can sell the idea of having a national MPI and why this idea is so important, and how having a measure of multidimensional poverty can help to reduce poverty and can improve policies. In this context, we need two different people, and most countries have two different persons who talk about multidimensional poverty. The first one is a policy champion. A policy champion has different characteristics than the second one, that is a technical champion. A policy champion is usually a minister or a vice minister that understands the importance of having a national MPI from a policy perspective. This person can talk directly with the president or the vice president or with the major authorities in a country. This is the person who can communicate why the MPI is important for policy. And not only is another measure, but measure poverty. This is a person who can discuss from a policy perspective what are the advantages of having a different indicators. Also, usually it's a person who can sit with different ministers and discuss what are their priorities in order that they can be included in a national MPI. Remember, the process of engaging different stakeholders is key in the process of computing a national MPI. The design of the measure will depend on what are the priorities of different ministers. It cannot be that the MPI is measuring things that are not priority for the country. So the champion has the task to talk to different stakeholders, understand their needs, and explain them how the MPI can help them to solve those needs, and why they need to really understand that the MPI is a policy to more than just a measure. We also have another champion, the technical champion. And usually it's a person who works closely, closely with policy champion. It's a person who can talk to this policy champion and translate the parts of the technical decisions. Remember in the process of computing national MPI, you will have different teams. You will have a technical team and you will have a steering committee or a policy more in the focus team. And these two teams or these two um, groups of people need to communicate constantly. Not every person can communicate with the person of the other team. Therefore, having a policy champion and a technical champion is key because they can communicate to each other and they can translate the technical decisions in the policy arena and also they can translate the policy needs to the technical settings. A technical champion is also the, po the person who can understand the methodology really in detail. It is a person who understands why the indicator goes up or down depending on the different deprivation products that you are going to set. And this person knows the country very really well from a policy perspective and understands what are the policy arena and how the MPI can be used as a policy tool without forgetting that the MPI is a, me is a, is a measure and needs to fulfill certain criteria of quality. This champion also is the person who is key in the process of computing the MPI. It understands 
all the characteristics of having a nausea or multidimensional poverty. It understands what are the deprivations can create multidimensional poverty. It knows by heart well, the distribution, how this deprivation distributed among different regions and provinces of the country. So the technical champion knows the data. The policy champion will know in detail what are the policy priorities of the country. And these two champions are going to be in constant communication in order that they can compute the best MPI given the data restrictions of the given the settings of a country. So if a national MPI wants to be completely successful, it is really important to have these two people or to identify these two people. Sometimes it can be the same person, but sometimes, or in most of the cases, the policy champion cannot be the same technical champion because a minister cannot have the time to sit and compute an MPI. What is important is to understand that beyond or that more than just having a person who understands the machine, it is important that this person is able to communicate the advantage of having a multidimensional poverty measure in the policy arena. That is able to communicate to different stakeholders and explain the details of the measure. Having a technical champion will also contribute to explain technical details to police to people working in the FEMIA. This will help to increase, increase the transparency of the measure and also people will believe in the measure because they understand. So when you are creating your national MPIs and you are in the process of computing the national MPIs, think who can be the champion. Think who can take this role and talk to the president of the highest uh, level of uh, the highest um, authority in the country, but also think which is the person who can understand the process from a methodological perspective and can communicate and translate this process to a policy audience. To identify these two people is key in the process and will help you to succeed in the, in the development of national MPI. Thank you very much.